CBS 19 Tuesday Tales is sponsored by Pelche Subaru. That got your attention. Welcome back into the noon show. Um, listen, Tuesday Tales has always been the highlight of my week. <laughs> And I got to say, look, now he wants to sleep. I got to say, Greg, you're the cutest puppy. I know I say that every yeah. single time, but you're the cutest puppy that I've ever seen. He's working it. Man, he's acting all sleepy and quiet and good. Yes. He's been a really good little puppy, though. He rode in the car with me in my lap. Aww. We went and got a Coke, and he's been super good. Um, he's six weeks old, okay. Australian Shepherd mix. And um, he came from a litter of 14. <gasps> which just goes to show you how one litter can really bring a lot of animals yes. into the world. Yes. Um, two of them, unfortunately, did not make it, but um, we have a dozen little Gregs. Yeah. So um, they are all looking for families. And this breed is a, is a very well-rounded breed. They're active, yeah. but they're, they're uh, good companions. They like kids. Um, but they also like to just chill and yeah. watch football. So. <laughs> so how big do you think Greg will get? I'm going to guess he'll probably be 50 pounds. Okay. A medium size, uh, but not huge. And they don't stand real, real tall. They're just yeah. a little more stocky. Yeah. Um, but they are great, great family pets. This is a great breed. Awesome. They do need their exercise. So yes. You need to think about that. And the weather is good today. So I think we could go. all use a little exercise. I know. New Year's resolutions <laughs> right there. Now, um, while I do have you here, I wanted to just ask you, um, you know, a lot of people were popping fireworks during the New Year's yes. and celebrations and stuff. So have y'all got a lot of calls of people who might have lost their puppy? And what, what is your advice for... Regretfully, uh, we do post on social media before the 4th of July and New Year's mm -hmm. cautioning people because that is really scary. Yeah. And sometimes, you get distracted, you're watching the fireworks, right. and you think your dog's having mm. a great time, and they are scared to death. A lot of times they will just take off. It's like a gunshot. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we have seen a number of postings for lost pets over yeah. the last few days. And just so, do you advise getting your dog chip? Is that kind Absolutely. of like the solution? Absolutely. Of, it's yeah. so easy. It's not expensive. Most veterinarians, as well as our Snippet Clinic, can mm -hmm. do a microchip for you, and it will always get your pet home. A collar is a great idea, a little tag, that's yeah. a few dollars. That lets people know this baby belongs to somebody. Exactly. Exactly. We it's easy want. to tell just from looking. It's not just a, a stray dog you need to be worried about maybe because it's not vaccinated or it's not yeah. friendly. So yeah, it's not expensive and it gets them right back home, which there is so go. important. Yeah, and we actually have information about chipping your pets, um, especially ahead of the holidays. But also too, we're gonna have all the information you need to know about adopting little Greg here. We'll have that over on our website, cbs19.tv.